Hello, gamer, no, Miss Brack. And in this video, we're going to use the bomb fruit to defeat all bosses in Blast Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so are you ready to defeat all bosses? Using the bomb fruit, just a reminder we haven't mastered the bomb fruit yet, so we will be unlocking all the skills along the way. First off, the strongest mob in the jungle, the Gorilla King. <laughs> Obviously, the easy part is in the first sea, so we can just relax here. Next up, the pirate village. Buggy the clown is the next boss, and there you go. <laughs> After that, let's head to the frozen village and defeat the Yeti. Guys, uh, in the first sea, I think this is the easy part. The second sea, moderate. And in the final sea, it will be moderate to hard. And to finish the Yeti up, boom. Okay, so next is this island. There is a mob here called the Mob Leader. So I consider him also a boss. So let's defeat him. Next is the boss in the marine fortress and he is the vice admiral guys check it out if his skill is unlocked the explosive jump let's try it out so first is the z skill and then the f skill there you go not bad next up we are going back to the jungle to fight the saber expert so guys this is the requirement in order to buy the observation hockey so make sure to defeat him there you go this island is the prison, so for the first boss is the warden. By the way, we've unlocked the bomb, grab the access skill at mastery 50, so here it is, there you go. So guys, as you can see, we have three skills, right? If the enemy is hard, like for example, the third C, we will be relying on these three skills. I'm telling you, the C and the V skill is so good, but again, you need to cast it or you will get hit if you use that. Okay, so there is also a boss here, the chief warden. So very easy as you can see we're just using the skills, the Z, X, and F. Finally the swan. I have a question. Do you think I can defeat all bosses, especially in the third C? Just using the bomb fruit even if I unlock all the skills? Comment it on the comment section if you believe that I can do it. Okay. So there you go. Swan done. Next island is the magma village. So here our target is obviously the magma admiral. There you go. So again, with our three skills, it's enough to defeat him. Again, you only need to touch one of his skills. And that skill is that one. And once you do that, everything will be fine. After this, I think three more bosses. Oh no, four more bosses and we're out. Next up is in the underwater city. Check this out, guys. Is this a glitch? <laughs> Enforcer inside the underwater city. Well, anyway, Fishman Lord is our next boss. Guys, you know this that we are not using the wall strat or any other strats, stone strats, etc. in defeating the bosses because that would be boring, right? So there you go, we're gonna defeat them face to face, mano a mano. There you go. Okay, next stop is the Skylands. Two bosses here first is the Whisper, and check it out, we already have the Landmines, Mastery 75. So, guys, this is one of my favorite skills because you can literally plant landmines. There you go, and once your enemy steps on it, he will get damage. There you go, guys, it's really cool for me, huh? for me. But the only downside is that you need to cast it. Next up is a Thunder God. Oh, one more thing regarding the landmines, check this out, guys. I tried casting it three times to have lots and lots of landmines in the area, but for the third one, the first set of landmines that I casted, there you go, you see that, it disappeared. So I think you can only cast two landmines at a time. There you go. Guys, check that out. The boss is just stepping on the landmines. So let's use it to defeat this boss. <laughs> I am so loving this skill. Oh, we got hit there. <laughs> After this, the last boss in the Fountain City. The cyborg, guys, check this out. It's kind of getting harder to cast the C skill because the enemies has long range attack. And they are faster in attacking compared to the previous bosses, so it will be harder to use, especially in the second and the third C. So again, I told you we would be relying on a Z, X, and F skill for damage. Oh, we haven't unlocked the V skill, but don't worry, on the next C, we will surely unlock it, okay? Okay, so guys, for those having a hard time defeating Cyborg, guys, you can do it using the bomb fruit. 
Okay, so after that, heading to the second C. So who is the first boss in the second C? Yes, guys, it's Diamond. So guys, you will notice that the enemies will get tankier and it will take me more time to defeat these bosses. How about you guys? Who is the most hated boss that you've encountered in the second C? So if you're gonna ask me this boss, it's the worst boss for me because maybe it's so far away from the quest giver and if you wanna like do server hop with this boss, it's kinda hard to do it, even if you have the life. So next boss is Jeremy, my favorite boss. Uh, actually, my second favorite boss in the second C. Why? Because of his name. His real name in the anime is Bellamy, right? So for me, it really sounds funny. And guys, this boss keeps on lunging forward, which means if you use your landmines properly, you can defeat him really easily. Check this out. He will die with the landmines. Boom. <laughs> Next up is in the green zone. Our target is Fujitora or Fajita. Just keep in mind when fighting him, just create distance because this boss is really slow when walking. But if you like uh, get near him, he will activate his attacks which is hard to dodge. Check that out guys. <laughs> I went to the sea just to dodge his attacks. Anyway, just keep on casting your landmines because this boss will keep walking on it and he will eventually die. Okay, so for our next boss, he is located in the mansion. Yes, in the mansion, guys, and in the door here, remember, swan, in the swan room. <laughs> for the new players in the second C, if you want to fight this boss, there is no quest giver here, but you need to give his friend, the NPC outside of this uh, room, a mythical fruit, and also, you, I think you need 1,000 levels, okay? By the way, we've already unlocked our final skill, the self-destruct. Guys, beware of using this because I think this skill will decrease your HP, okay? Okay, so there you go guys, we've already unlocked all our skills. Next boss is my favorite boss, Smoke Admiral. Again, second is Jeremy. Guys, check this out. The HP I'm talking to you about, there you go. Decrease HP while casting a skill. But same with uh, Jeremy, this boss lunges forward. If you like the land binds skill, guys, you will love this boss because he will keep on lunging forward towards your land binds. Two more bosses and we're good. Next up in the ice castle is the ice admiral. So guys, maybe you're asking gamer Nom, why didn't you fight the ice admiral in the first sea? Guys, because we have the better version here. He is a lot stronger, but same with the first sea, we can defeat it. Guys, check it out. Almost no damage. Compared to the diamond, I really hate that boss. I don't know why. Oh, we were damaged. <laughs> anyway, guys, after we defeat this one, final boss, and we are heading to the third C. So, guys, now can you guess? Is there a boss that I cannot defeat in the third C? Comment it on the comment section. There you go, guys. Final boss, the Forgotten Island, the Tide Keeper. So, guys, I kind of like cheated here in a way. Because my technique here is the stone strat, right? So if you stay in the stone there in this area, he won't be summoning his sea beast. So I think uh, I kind of cheated him if I do that. So guys, I fought him face to face with the sea beast and I really had a hard time. Check my HP, critical 1400. <laughs> it's really hard guys. So next time maybe just don't summon it. Oh, don't let him summon it. But the best reward is defeating the sea beast after you defeat the tight keeper. Sea Beast is so annoying, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, guys, after that, we are ready to head to the third sea. There you go. So for our first boss, we have the stone. In here, guys, I will be cutting some scenes if it's kind of repetitive. And also, the speed will be in two times, times two. Because most of the bosses here took me, like, uh, I think two to three minutes to defeat. Okay, so now let's go back to the stone. So gamer no is it hard to defeat the stone no guys I even tried to just use my lag mines to defeat him but guys his attacks are kinda faster now. So I took lots of damage because I kinda got careless but still we defeated him. There you go. Next boss is the Hydra Island boss. Island Empress. So she's located here. Guys you can do the wall strat here but again what's the use of doing the challenge if we're just gonna rely on those strategies right? All I can say is that this boss is really fast. So guys, try to cast your skills really fast and create distance when your skills is on cooldown. After this, the next boss is located in the Great Tree, Kilo Admiral. Guys, this boss has no 
air attacks and check the damage of the landmines on him. 13,000. That's a lot. Including the combos that we will be using on him. <laughs> Actually, this is one of the easiest boss in the third C because of its inability to attack airborne enemies. Okay, we're gonna defeat this with the V skill. Boom! Okay, next boss is creating the throne turtle. There you go, Captain Elephant. Guys, to be honest, this is one of the worst boss to fight in the, this sea. I don't know why. But you can defeat it by just going on top of the tree. The other tree here and use your gun to defeat him but again we're using the bomb fruit and this boss has a homing attack his twin blade oh that's really annoying guys if you can dodge it check my hp guys one six <laughs> i almost died guys but we were able to defeat it guys can you dodge the homing attack if you can comment it in the comment section next boss is the beautiful pirate at first, I know I will be able to defeat this boss. Check the HP, it's almost out, right? But this boss has layers of HP. So by this time, I'm already fighting him, her for like 10 minutes. So I decided to just... Oh, enough with this. <laughs> I think we can defeat this, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So we just headed to the Cake Queen and defeated her. Okay, so I started at this HP. And I will show you until the end how I defeated her. So my technique is only using the Z, X, and F skill because if you try to use the C or V skill, you will really get hit by her attacks. So guys, as you can see, Z, X, F, Z, X, F, dodge to the side, dodge to the side, and yes, we were able to defeat her using the bomb fruit. So this proves that even if you don't have the best fruits, guys, you can still grind in this game, right? So again, shout out to the developers for revamping this or reworking this fruit. It really is a good fruit now. There you go. And it is not hard to get. Okay, so defeating this now. There you go. Almost done. So game room after this, are we done? No guys, there is still one boss to defeat. That boss is located in the floating turtle. And if you guessed, uh, what is the name? Longma, you are correct. We're almost done with this boss guys there you go we got hit again by her skill oh we tried the v skill once and that's it now heading towards the island the final island for the final boss the floating turtle and the boss is located here but you need to do the quest first <clears throat> the toshita quest right oh we got a fruit i think this is the sand fruit looks like a dough fruit <laughs> Okay guys, so at first, I think this boss will be really easy because every time I defeat this, I'm using a Buddha fruit. But guys, using a bomb fruit is kind of hard. Once you get hit, you will feel the damage. Check that out guys. The damage of this boss is really high. I even reach 1700 HP, which means if I get hit even once, I will definitely die. So guys... Take care on fighting this boss if you want to use the bomb fruit because it's not really easy. Check that out, 1-7, one more hit, and I'm dead. But thankfully, we were able to defeat him. There you go. So guys, do you think we should defeat all bosses with other fruits? Comment it in the comment section. And if we get like 100 to 200,000 views, I will try to make a series on defeating bosses using different fruits. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!